okay? And Jimmy's got an eight and you've got a five. What's the carbohydrates? Total carbohydrates, 30 grams, 10% of the bar. 30, okay. 26. 26? 20. 20, okay. 30, 26, 20. That's all within most of our range. What's the protein? Yours is 20, Jimmy. I just 20, know 20. that bar. <laughs> you already know. Yeah, I already it's, know that it's 20 grams. This is 15. 15. <laughs> 19. And 19. The most balanced bar here is this one Julie's holding. This is a great meal replacement bar. Um, this one I sell in the studio. It's a little higher carb, a little lower protein. It's still a great product. Joyce is getting results on it. Many of y'all are getting results on it. Jimmy, uh, that's a little more of a man size bar. I eat this bar like I'll eat one of these mid afternoon. I want a little higher carb and a little lower protein because I'm riding my bike 30 miles this afternoon, and I need I need that carbohydrate. So, in situations pre workout. Now, I can use a little higher carb and a little lower protein. All right, any qu other questions? Cliff bars are very popular. They're very high fiber, but they're low protein. So, if you think cliff bars are really popular. Yes. Yes. So, a glass of Mutopia milk with a cliff bar could be a great meal replacement. The cliff bar by itself is too low protein. These are the cliff builder bars, they've got more protein in them, and they taste really good. So that's all. Just read your labels. Many bars, you might find a zone bar. It's low fat, no carbs, high protein. Okay, that's kind of a weird combo, but you could have a piece of fruit with it. You can add your carb in another way. Or if you have low protein, high carb, add your protein with a glass of milk. Okay, and not just any old milk. We're going to talk about that too. I do 